we're going to do a new, another Unity video with multiple scenes this time and a button that'll allow you to transition from one scene to the other. I'm starting out in Unity Hub and I'm going to create a new project. This will be a 2D project, so I'll select 2D. And then the name is going to be, um, I'll just do test two. And I'll pause the video because it takes a while for Unity to load up. All right, Unity started. We have our sample scene. And if we don't want the sample scene to be the name of that, we can do a save the scene as, and let's give it a different name. I'll say scene one. And this will be like our introduction scene. Let's put something in the scene because right now it's just empty. So I'll create a button. And let me hit F so I'll go to where that button is. That button's actually, for some reason, created right below where the actual scene is going to be displayed. Um, so you won't actually see it. I'm going to need to move that around. I can select button either over here in the scene or on the hierarchy, select your button, and then the arrows for moving it up and down and left and right. Let's move that around. We can move, let's change the size of this button. That's a little bit overkill, but you get the idea. And then the text that's inside of that button will have a slightly larger font size. Let's see, and um go i'll just say go and where is my text and i don't see the text and that's because the box is too small i accidentally made it a font size 300 which is a bit overkill so let me change that to a smaller font size so 50 is plenty Okay, so we've got a button and I want another scene because the whole point of the video is to show you how to go from one scene to the other. So I'm going to do file new scene and I'll definitely want to save what I've done so far. And now I've got this untitled scene. If I want to give that a better name, I can do save as. Oops, let's see. Is that the whole project or just the scene? I think that's just the scene. So I'm going to call this scene two. And as a default, it's going to go in the Assets folder. I like to organize um, the scenes and put them in the Scenes folder. So I'm going to just move those both in here. And so I now have, there's only Scene 1 and Scene 2 are the ones I've been working on. And then that sample scene, um, when I did the Save As, I kept the old name as well as the new name so I could delete that scene. All right, we've got our scene one and our scene two. Let me put something in scene two so you'll know when you've gotten there. Maybe put a text component and give that a bit of a larger font size and change the color and change it from new text to um, like play the game or something like that. And then larger font size. Okay, so now we need to put in the code to actually go from one scene to the other. So I can save my changes to this scene and go back to scene one. So I want an action to happen when you click on the go button. I want you to actually go to the other scene. So I need an, a, a script to have some code that will happen every time you click on the button. So I'm gonna add a new component to this button and it's going to be a brand new script and I'm going to call it button manager. So it'll handle it every time you click on this button. And there's nothing in this script right now. The code will be in the assets folder. I can click on button manager and it opens it in Visual Studio. Now, I don't need the start and the update function, but I am going to create another function that's going to be publicly available so we can call it from outside of this class and I'm going to call it go to next scene. That's the name of the function and I'm going to use the scene manager class and call load scene 
and the name of the scene scene two so we're going from scene one to scene two if you see this underlining in red it doesn't know what scene manager is but it has a suggestion of how to fix this using unity engine management all i have to do is include that notice how line one and line two there's a slightly different font color um, it looks like it's almost disabled on line one and line two and three and four has a, a more of a bold font color that's because we're not actually using anything from these first two lines. There's nothing from the collections uh, library or collections generic. We can delete those. That's all I need for my C-sharp code. I can save this. And now I need to hook this up, make it so that when you click on the button, this code runs. So from the go button, select the go button. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, and I don't want just the text. I want the whole button. So I'm going to check in the hierarchy that I really am selecting the button. All right, so I've got my button selected and I go over and I'm going to add an action for clicking on that button. Just drag the button manager script into the empty box you'll have access to all of those functions from the button manager, including the one that we typed out, go to next scene. And then let's test it out. Let me make sure to save all my changes and run. And now we click on the go button. And unfortunately it didn't work. So what's going on? It did give us an error message. Scene two couldn't be loaded because it hasn't been added to the build settings or the asset bundle has not been loaded. Let me show you how to fix that. So if I do file build settings, it's going to show depends on whether you're in iOS or Android or whatever. But right now, the scenes that it's including, I'm going to add this open scene that I created. It only knows about the sample scene. I'm gonna add this scene. And then if I were to go over to the other scene, so scene two, I'm gonna do the same thing. If that's open, I can go to the build settings and add that scene. So now these are the scenes that I wanna include when I uh, run my project. It'll start with scene one, and then it also has scene two available. All right, let's try again. I have high hopes this time. All right, scene one, I'm gonna go ahead and run. And now, fingers crossed, when I click on that button, I do go to my second scene. So that's how you would go from one scene to the other in Unity. Have a great day.